What's up everybody, my name is United Gamer, and thank you for stopping by to my Let's Play of The Elder Scrolls V, and I hope you enjoy your stay. I have entitled this Let's Play a learning experience because I take the name Let's Play from the perspective that we all play, hence its name. Therefore, I hope you guys will, you know, get interactive with this Let's Play, comment, you know, help me find some unique armor and quests, and join me as we embark on this great adventure. I have been long awaiting this game since like last year of leaked footage and teaser trailers um, back in last year. And now, the game has finally arrived, and I'm so happy to share it with all of you. And as I have said, I hope you guys will play along and complete multiple quests and enjoy, in my opinion, the game of the year. In fact, we're going to go ahead and start a new game, but I find it ironic how people are complaining about Modern Warfare 3 versus Battlefield, and how, which one's better, when, in my opinion, I just, you know, I'm, I'm here for Skyrim. I love the Elder Scrolls series. Um, I haven't played Daggerfall, or like Arena, the first ones. Um... But actually, I have um, played Morrowind and Oblivion uh, back those, and now I'm just super excited to do this game. And i um, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been gaming ever since I can remember the SNES and the NES, um, even like the Atari and stuff, and Pong. Maybe I should do a Let's Play of Pong for like a 10,000 special, I don't know. But um, I love RPGs, it's always been like one of my favorite genres, that's why I'm really excited to do this. Um, and normally I like, like I said, I like to interact with the viewers, um, I will answer any questions, comments you got below, and if you guys find like a unique army of the strategy guide, I don't have mine right now, I'll probably pick it up tomorrow or something, not really sure about that, but if you guys know where like, something is that's really good and stuff, just, you know, definitely tell me. Right now, we're starting off different, uh, as we did in Oblivion, um, we're already on a ride, we haven't, we don't start out with creating our character. I'm actually not sure what race I'm gonna choose yet, but... Uh, I guess we'll get that one there. But as I said, I like to interact with you guys, so I'm gonna ask you guys com two comment questions. These comment questions will, if you get them right, or at least the first like couple will like, get them right, then well, you're gonna be like probably actually featured in my next video. So that's really cool. That, I really recommend you guys uh, stop by and uh, answer them. And actually, if you like get the first, if you get like 20 right in the first uh, let's play, this is the first time I've ever done this. I just came up with this actually an hour ago. You will get a box on the channel, which is really cool in my opinion. I think that'd be pretty cool. That way you guys answer questions I probably don't even know that much. But the first question, I thought I'd start off with something easy. But what were the first two Elder Scrolls to ever be created, and when were they created? I just actually gave that away, because I never, I said I never have played them. So go back and listen, or, but also I didn't say when they were created. And my second one is kind of opinionated, or it is opinionated, but which so far, besides Skyrim, has been your favorite game of the Elder Scrolls series? It can be any of them, just, you know, tell me what you think about that. Honestly, I, everyone I ask about, like, this, all my friends and such, they always say Morrowind was the best. Of course the Oblivion graphics got improved, but yet it was a long game awaited after it. So it's nothing, just how this one, the graphics got improved from Plato faces in Oblivion. But in that time, in 2006, I believe, it was a good game. And still is to this day a good game in my opinion. But that would be my two comment questions. Definitely tell um, what you think about that below. Tell me what you guys would have answered that. But now we are here in this area, and I'm just I, I'm actually just anticipating what I'm gonna see in this game. I mean, I'm obviously really like ex I don't know why, but I just really you know super excited to do this game. Like. I would ask you this, what are you most excited about this game? Would it be the graphics? Would it be exploring the new region uh, among this place instead of just being in Oblivion and stuff? Or is there a, a separate quest and stuff? I noticed the strategy guy was freaking huge. It was really thick. So that's why I really like, hmm, maybe I should get that. Um, I'm not using some more of my money. But that's what I would say to um, do. That's why I'd say keep coming back, guys. Um, if you can, drop a favorite below um, if you like this video and such. That way you guys can, you don't realize how much, but that can help me out a lot. Um, I really appreciate that. And obviously comment. That's more, actually my favorite thing, of anything. I like reading comments and replying to them and just all that stuff. All that jazz. Why do you think? But here we are. Um, here's a lot of the other people in the place. I'm guessing we're going to have to create our characters once we get out of this um, ride. Shouldn't the gods be waiting on us. I'm a rebel. Face your death with some courage, thief. 
You've got to tell them. We work with you. Apparently we're being uh, arrested and I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be some random action like a dragon somehow coming down. I can just see that happening in this game. For some reason. Uh, just by the, looking at the trailer and such. Alright, so that's kind of slowing down. So I'm pretty sure uh, we're getting probably to the part where we're going to create our character. It has been an honor. Here's kind of another question. I don't really say this is a common question, but like, what is like your favorite race to be? It could be Argonian, Nord, Dark Elf, Wood Elf, any of them. But I'm actually not even sure. I'm probably gonna actually be a Wood Elf. Um, I just like that for some reason. I really do. Uh, so, but that's just my opinion. Um, there's a lot of them I do like. Uh, Nord is pretty much just the basic to me, but you know. It's all. I just really can't also. I wait to like look at the class. Not really class and stuff, but just see all those. Well, let's start at the top. We have the Argonian, the reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland, has developed a nature, a natural res, uh, resistance to diseases and ability to breathe underwater. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the Breton. Sorry if I read some of these wrong. I'm not actually like a great reader. Um, in addition to their quick and uh, perceptive graphs of spell uh, craft even the humblest of highest rock Bretons can boost a resistance to magic Bretons can call upon the dra dragon skin power to absorb spells and then we got the dark elf looking pretty thuggish in this thing <laughs> also known as a dumb a dumb nutmer <laughs> in their homeland of Morrowind dark elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills they are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon the ancestors wrath to surround themselves in fire then we have the High Elf, it's got a gigantic head, for some reason, we did went back and looked at all the evolutions from uh, Daggerfall to Morrowind to Oblivion to this, and like facial structures and such. But in their homeland of the Summer uh, Isle, the High Elves are most strongly gifted in the arca arcane uh, arts of all races. They can call upon the high, uh, Highborn power to regenerate m magicka quickly. Then we have the Imperial. Um, I'm not. I'm just gonna let you guys look at these real quick. I'm not gonna keep reading them for one reason. I'm just not actually a good reader. And uh, the Khajiit. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that wrong. Um, and then we have the Nord. Taking a while to load these actually. The Orc, the Red Guard, and the Elf. Orc looks pretty great. Red Guard and the Wood Elf. Let's see what the Wood Elf has to say. It looks kind of weird to be honest though. Also known as uh, Balsmer, Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, and these are no finer archers of uh, all of time. Yeah, that's probably my main thing. I like being a thief in many um, RPG likes games. Um, some other RPG games I played is Demon Souls and Dark Souls. I don't know if you guys have played that. Um, and Dragon Age, I like Dragon Age series. Um, but there we go. I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead with the Wood Elf. If I decide to change my mind, I can easily just go back. I mean, he honestly looks really weird to me, but maybe I can change his looks. I'm a male present. I'll just do a random one, then I'll change it. That looks pretty cool. I'll just start with that one and then change it. Skin tone. All right, that's good. Get a little meat on them bones. All right, I'm not gonna take too long with these. Um, I don't like taking too much time for this. Uh, but that's me. Uh, what's the kind of war paint we do have though? It's pretty cool stuff. I've never been a big person in just flat out always taking time to create their characters. Because eventually, I mean, I will want to go back and make it, change something about them after I'm like halfway through the game. I don't know what you guys say would be coolest, coolest for that. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna do that one. That's pretty cool. Color. Oh, I don't know what really to do. How long do you guys normally like take to do these? Uh, I thought it was the color I had. Crap. That's fun. Face. That's a good nose. Uh, let's just go on. That's all actually fine. Uh, mouth. Let's go to hair. Okay. I actually like the one it has. Let's keep looking though. To be honest, I don't know why, but an elf seems to have like needs to have like hair up, like th like that or that or that or something. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. That's pretty cool. Mohawk. Facial hair, that's where you know, they get into this. I'm just going to get a basic thing right there, and that's good hair color. That's all good. So there we go. There's our character. Let's go ahead and hit enter. 
To question on a list your quests and objectives, select a quest and press X to make active quests, which adds to the target. Okay. Oh crap, now how do we say we're finished? Do I say X or Done. Oh, I can't even see the bottom left hand corner. Um I'm just gonna name him my name. My name is Dylan. Um or you can call me not a gamer. That's all good. So there we go, we've got most of the first part done. I'm not going to make the first part too long, um, just because I like to go ahead and get the beginning done and save the, all the action for later in this Let's Play. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is mainly the informational part. The rest of the part is going to be more active and such. Um, that way I can inform you guys what you're going to be in for and make sure you answer those comment questions because that's always great stuff. Um, so they are going to get more difficult though, obviously, because those were pretty easy. Especially one was even opinionated. And I actually might get some more, I might ask more, or like upload, and all, obviously, the more favorites, the more likes and stuff, I'll upload more, and get more chances for questions, and, you know, I might even do some giveaways and such, you know, give away a strategy guide, give away, even, even maybe give away the game, that'd be pretty cool, um, I've actually only done two giveaways, um, one was actually a really expensive giveaway, but, yeah, it was, I love this pitch it in, so. But here we go. Let's go ahead and let's look. Look at this. I mean, is it wrong for me just to observe the scenery? And that's one thing I most like about it. I mean, that's just. That's, I mean, it, just look at that. It's magnificent. Gosh, I love you, Bethesda. And yes, I have played like Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and such like that. Not just the medieval RPG likes. And uh, Borderlands. I'm also looking forward to Borderlands too. And I have a lot of games planned, so go ahead and click that subscribe button if you like. So you can keep up with some new Let's Play that's going to be coming out. I'm not really sure. I can't really think of any off the spot. But I can think of Resident Evil. Um, probably Borderlands 2. Mass Effect 3. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, what's going on here? Are we having a beheading? Oh, this is going to be great. Let's see this. Oh, blood squirts everywhere. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Okay, that's pretty cool. What was that? Justice. And wait, am I a prisoner too? Is that am I next? Oh, this game. I'm. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my social life for this game. But let's hurry it. Let's go. Yeah, okay. My hands are bound. Well, I'm pressing every possible button. Well, there we go. We'll stop it right here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned with this, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Give me, uh, let, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Give me any tips and stuff. And if you already played ahead of the game and you know exactly some stuff where I can get some great stuff, that would be, you know, always great to see. Anyways, guys, it's Gnar Gamer here, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed your stay, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Skyrim: The Elder Scrolls V Part Two.